guys, Sarah here. Thanks for coming back to my channel. If this is your first time here, then welcome. I'm super excited. As you saw from the little trailer deal before this, I'm going to be talking about the brand new Tesla Roadster that they just announced, which is Tesla's answer to the supercar. It is 100% electric and it's amazing. If you check out the specs, they are insane. And let's just go over those and then I'll kind of talk about this car a little bit and say why this is really such a big deal. Sorry about the lighting, the sun's like in and out, so hopefully it will play nice. So zero to 60 is 1.9 seconds, which by the way is faster than any other car on the road. So this is gonna be the fastest zero to 60 time. Zero to 100 is 4.2 seconds and they can do a quarter mile in 8.8 .8 seconds, which is super impressive and a lot of that has to do because it is an electric car so it is a hundred percent torque so you're getting power right off the line and it gives you 10,000 nanometers of wheel torque which is a whole lot of power so talking about torque that basically gives you power straight off the line so it is engine torque so that is what is powering your engine and giving you that so this car gets the power straight away so it doesn't have to wait for the engines or gears to shift or anything like that. You get 100% of the power right off the line and you're good to go, which is gonna be giving you those speeds and those times, which again, so impressive. The top speed of this car is over 250 miles an hour, which is insane. There's probably, hopefully, no reason for you to be going these speeds but in case you ever wanted to, you got a straight, you do like want to go fast or anything like that, you can really see how fast this car can go. My 911 Turbo tops out at about 200, so this is great. I probably will never go that fast. So the fact you have a car that can do it is just so impressive, especially with it being an electric car. Now, a big problem with electric cars is the charging that you can't go that far. This car, on one charge gets you 620 miles, which is basically what you're gonna be driving in a day for the most part, unless you're doing some crazy cross country road trip without stopping going straight. So you can seriously get some distance with this car and that's more than you're ever gonna need to do. And that, seriously, so impressive. And Tesla has the fast charging stations all across the US so no matter where you're going you're gonna be able to find a charging station and typically they're at like fun little restaurants or places to stop or they'll be at your hotel so you're always gonna be able to charge up pretty quickly while you're stopping already and of course if you're going the 250 miles an hour you're not gonna be getting that much distance but it all just varies so if you're driving it normally on a road this is what you're gonna be getting and you'll be good to go so that can get you really everywhere you need to go in about a week which is awesome so this car is also all-wheel drive so you can take it all over the place it's going to handle well it's going to grip the road well and you can really do a lot more with it i personally really do enjoy all-wheel drive cars they're a little easier to drive and if you're not the most experienced driver it really does help you grip the road and take those turns and do everything faster and easier okay so now let's talk price and again i'm talking in supercar terms so this is a lot of money to buy one it is two hundred thousand dollars which again in the supercar world is kind of a good deal for all the numbers it is putting up and everything you're looking for if you want to put your deposit down it's only fifty thousand dollars so again, if you're spending $200,000 on a car, $50,000 down is not that big of a deal. But again, it's not a car for everyone. You can do the different other models that they have. So yeah, again, super car terms, not expensive, regular car terms. It's extremely expensive, but again, we're looking at it as a supercar. Let's talk, like this car seriously looks so good. So good. They have designed it to look like a supercar and it has delivered. I love the styling on this car. I just love how it looks. Just look at it. Look at this thing. It is gorgeous. It looks so nice. The interior is nice. And they also have the sunroof that pops out. You can put it in the boot, which is the trunk of your car, as they say. So you can put it in your trunk and have basically a convertible, which is so nice when you're driving along. I love driving with a convertible. 
it's just nice driving fast I don't know you can really hear your car although this one is not making noise so that's gonna be interesting on the road and the interior it seats four. a big complaint I've already seen about this is that the four is very liberal the back seats are very small again 911 turbo the back seats I can barely fit I'm 5'5 and weigh 100 pounds so I'm not taking up a lot of space but it is good for children small people to sit back there so I could sit back there if necessary ideally I would not want to but it happens and again most other supercars only have two seats some have three most have two so if you're looking at it that way it's again having that space having that space just to have some stuff in the back too is really nice although this does have a trunk and lots of storage so this again beating most other supercars on the road and the interior is nice it of course has the whole tesla system on it self-driving self-aware all of that so it is just a gorgeous car inside and out so now why is this such a big deal in the supercar world I just got back from a rally and we were talking about Teslas and how it would be so nice to rally a Tesla. They just don't quite make it up there. If Tesla made a supercar, how cool would that be? I would put my money down in a heartbeat. That's a lot of what we were talking about and Tesla announced it. So I can tell you, I assure you, I know many people who are picking up this car, putting their deposit down today to get it to rally it because now you can go the distance, you can go the speed and you can just really enjoy the drive with tesla's styling it is amazing super car owners are loving this and it's a great starter supercar brand new starter supercar if i could say that again i'm not the biggest fan of buying a brand new supercar luxury car any of those just because of the depreciation but this is something i could actually consider myself getting even though it's going to depreciate even though it's going to change it's going to be okay to get one of these cars so is this a car i would consider buying <laughs> absolutely of course it's not coming out for at least two years so having that fifty thousand dollars tied up for two years is kind of something to think about for me because i could be getting a different car instead but definitely something i'm going to think about and consider and look into getting i have a deposit down for the model 3 I have not gotten it yet, so I am way down at the bottom of that list, so I can only imagine how long it's going to take me to get this car as well. Like, if you want this car, I would highly suggest jumping on it, because that wait list, I can only imagine how long it's going to be, especially for this price for this car. People are going to be jumping on getting this. People who don't have never had a supercar are going to get it just because it's Tesla, so definitely look into this. I cannot wait till these hit the road in two years to really see and play and hopefully I can get my hands on one on display somewhere really to check it out and give you another more kind of in-depth view and thoughts and see really how big that backseat is and all of that. So anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you give it a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment below. Let me know what you think about this car. Is it something you're going to get, think about, or absolutely not? How do you think it compares to other supercars out there? And if you've gone this long, you obviously enjoy it. So make sure you click on that red subscribe button. And if you click on that bell icon, you will be alerted every time a new video comes up. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Oh my gosh, it's sliding now. Let's move over. Wait for the light to go away. Let's talk. Like, this car seriously looks so good so good to get one of these cars